Vincent McCory is our man at the scene at the DNC and he joins us live from Philadelphia. Vincent, yesterday was definitely a historic day in the U.S. political process and tonight President Barack Obama heads the list of keynote speakers. Oh yes, uh, Esther, history was made yesterday and whether uh, Hillary Clinton gets elected president or not, she has uh, kind of punctured a major hole in that glass ceiling. And so it doesn't matter how it goes. Now tonight, President Barack Obama, uh, he's the key speaker here at the convention. What a significance. Look, uh, President Barack Obama, he's the first black president of the United States. He will be here making a case for a possible first female president of the United States. Hugely significant. If she gets elected, what does that mean? History will have been made twice in a row. First a black president, followed by a female president. Be sure President Obama will tell the delegates here and all Americans that he knows intimately uh, uh, Hillary Clinton working with her at the Senate, but also her working for him as Secretary of State. She's a great woman and he will ask Americans to come out in droves to vote and to take anything for granted to make sure that Hillary Clinton becomes president. And one other thing I just have to note, unlike the Republican uh, National Convention, this, this week here, the, the, the Hillary gets a big boost in that two presidents address the DNC. Hill, uh, Bill Clinton yesterday, and of course today, President Barack Obama. You mentioned Bill Clinton's speech last night. Can you give us a little highlight on what exactly he achieved during that speech? First, you, you really have to acknowledge that uh, Bill Clinton still has it, all right? He still has it. He told the story of a woman that he met many, many years ago, but a woman that he has known throughout that time as a change maker. That was the storyline there. A change maker, a woman who has worked tirelessly for children, for the disadvantaged children, for the poor throughout her life. Who has done that even when she had an option to join the corporate world and make tons of money? He told the story of a woman who loves people. He told the story of a woman who is totally different than what they were trying to portray at the Republican National Convention. He called her the real one. Bill Clinton impassionately went on to say, well, this is a woman who is a noble woman, but actually a really down-to-earth woman. You can be sure she'll work for Americans. She is what America needs right now. If you think of tomorrow, you think of your children, you think of your grand uh, grandchildren. So he really humanized Hillary Clinton in ways that perhaps he hasn't uh, spoken about her in public. Vincent, do you think the supporters of Bernie Sanders will heed his call to support Hillary? Well, as you've seen with all those protests on the streets, the real diehard Bernie Sanders supporters don't care what pleas they're getting even from Sanders himself. They are on the streets, they are protesting, they literally broke into or rather stormed the media tent yesterday. They are relentless, but officials here at the DNC say that uh, 90%, perhaps 90% of Sanders supporters will vote for Hillary Clinton. So they're confident that these votes will be transferred to Hillary Clinton and that uh, the stakes are so high that they will not uh, mm -hmm. see Donald Trump become elected. Vincent, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Africa 54's Vincent Macquarie reporting live from the DNC convention in Philadelphia.